on this window for far too long. I'm finishing it today. My lights are blinking <laughs> because my kiln is firing. My name is Priscilla. I live in this old church with my husband. And oh, today the Christmas market is coming down too today. So big exciting day here. <laughs> I don't know what day it is. It is January, 2023. I know that. I know it's Wednesday. I think it's the second Wednesday. Okay, so I'm going to start with cutting some glass. This window is going to be up high, like, like these windows are. See the high windows up in here that I've done. This window is a memory window. It has the hummingbird in the middle, and then uh, fused glass hearts. And the fused glass hearts, this one is my mother's ashes. This one is my mother-in-law's ashes. And they both love gardens. They both loved hummingbirds. So I'm going to uh, have them in here forever and ever. And I think that they would enjoy that. So right now, I am, I want to put colors around here that's going to make my hummingbird pop. But this one, and this one has a purpley color, which is gorgeous. So we're going to tape it with copper foil. <clears throat> this is the only time really I don't wear gloves. And copper foil, you just want to put it half on. <laughs> put it half on and half off. Bit on each side. Crimp it around. You don't want to touch the tape. It has an adhesive on it. You just want to crimp it around. Crimp it, crimp it. Crimp it. And they, they have foilers too. I have a foiler that I never ever use. I like doing it by hand. I find it relaxing. So I overlap it a little bit on the end and then I just push my fingernail down and pull it <laughs> to cut it. You can also cut it with scissors. But copper foiling, it's one of the most important parts when you're doing stained glass. So put the copper foil on, burnish this, which means rub that copper foil, get that adhesive pressed down so good. Get out any crinks, any, <laughs> any crinkly bits. Look, it smooths it. This side of the glass is textured, so that's why that looks like that because that side is textured, has a pretty texture on it. And it's a pale, 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 pale purple. Do it on the other side. The other side gets really smooth, see that? The other side is smooth glass. We always cut glass on the smooth side. If you haven't done stained glass before, I highly suggest taking a, taking a little workshop to see if you like it. And this part, this is good to show you. See this part here, overlap. I'm gonna kind of push that back up with my fingernail just to make these two even. <laughs> so there's not a sidestep here. If you pay attention to your copper foiling, your piece will be so pretty. So this is gonna go down in here, down in here. And then here, this little pinky part, I think is gonna come up over here. No. No, pinky part's not gonna come up over there. Might need to cut pinky part apart. And I'm gonna plug my soldering iron in. I like to um, kind of, I'm building this window without a pattern. This is totally original. I like things that are like the only things like it in the whole wide world. <laughs> this will be the only thing like it in the whole wide world. So I plug my soldering iron in. I'll set it over here so you can see it. I have, um, I have my, the sponge is wet. My sponge is wet here. And it takes just a couple minutes to heat up. I know I'm gonna be using this bright yellow. 
going to be using these. Just not quite sure where yet. This piece is getting a lot of fused glass in it. Now, fused glass is twice as thick as the stained glass. The stained glass is about three mils thick. I This color has to go on there. I love this color. It's so beautiful. We're going to turn that into some flowers. And this color is so beautiful. It's a deep purple. I might actually use that to go around my hummingbird. The purple and green. And then this is a... This one is opaque, but it still lets light through. Light still comes through this one. So the, I'm going to use these three together to make interesting flowers. So right now, over by here, I think I'm going to take a little bit of this yellow. And I think rather than scoring it and cutting it, because I want kind of like a little, a little roundy bit to it, to come up over here to be like a little iris maybe. I'm gonna take and just chomp it with this. I like that. I like that. I'm gonna chomp a couple of them. I might actually use these as snapdragons too. These might become snapdragons. I think they are gonna, they have a nice shape to them. Oh, see that? That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what Martin's doing. Oh, I know what he's doing. He's putting a shelf in here. Okay, these ones are a bit longer. I'm going to try to get a little, a little shape out of here. A little long. Oh, oh my gosh. That is so perfect. That couldn't be any perfecter. Perfecter, is that a word? Probably not. So we'll go back and cut this one. This can be another snapdragon or a foxglove or something. But you see how you get more organic shapes. And now this one that I just got, this shape, I'm excited about that. That one's actually a little longer than that. That one's gonna go in there. That's gonna be that stem. And then I'll have this for another stem. And I think I'll have these, these three, those three. They can be um, Snapdragon, maybe these four. They might actually go up here because they look like sunshine rays too. I'd actually put them up here. So before I copper foil stuff, I will do this. Actually, I wanna use this one up here to catch that round. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I like that a lot. I like that a whole lot. I love that. <laughs> I love that. And then this one, this one will go over here on this side somewhere to make a flower. So I'm going to look and see. I can copper foil this, and it's kind of like putting a jigsaw puzzle together for me. And uh, this, this glass, when the light comes through here, it's just brilliant yellow, but it's very opaque. You can't see through this glass. It's not transparent but it's gonna make a perfect little stem over here. And then we'll introduce our purples. Purples and yellows, they're complementary colors. It's gonna look stunning. Stunning. Okay, so take my tape. Put this on here. Go about half and half. Just eyeball it to where it's half and half. I'm trying to do it so the light hits it. You can see what I'm up to. I have 52 windows to make this year. I'm making one a week. I'm starting off the year behind. I got to do two this week and start my third on Sunday. And today is Wednesday. So I'm going to be spending a lot of time <laughs> sitting here making windows. So everything and anything you want to learn about stained glass, 
this is the place. Okay, I overlap it, put my thumbnail down and tear. Push it down and see how they match perfectly. That's what I'm looking for. That's down. And be careful, these little pointy bits, they can be sharp. I will use my fingernail, the back of my fingernail to push those down. And then we're gonna take our stick, burnish it. This is just a dowel rod. It works so good. <laughs> so good, you can buy burnishers for a lot of money. I don't like them. I love these. I gotta find my original one that I've been using for over 20 years and show you, it's so worn. It's like a little nub, but I still use it. It just got moved in the, or got lost in the move. It's here somewhere. So this I'm gonna put up here. Now, um, I wanna keep this kind of, um, kind of, kind of not, bright in here because I want this little hummingbird to pop. So I have some little bits of white, but I don't really want to use them. Well, I might use that. I need the hummingbird to pop and his wing is white. So I can't put white against the white. It, it won't work. Um, let me see what other color do I have. Oh, I have some of this blue. But this blue is kind of like, there's a little bit of turquoise in there. I don't I don't want to use that either. I'm being indecisive about that part. And here's my little pro tip. Drink water while you're doing this, but drink, drink it in a bottle. So you don't get any weirdness in there. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna solder these two pieces in place. I know they're gonna stay there. Um, I know they're gonna stay there. And I might want to, I might want to, before I do that, I might want to go ahead and copper foil these. As I'm doing my copper foil, I keep tearing off my little extra bit at the end. We just, we have a biomass wood stove here to heat the old church. So I just put it into there. Take this, pop it down, pinch it. Give it a little pinch on both sides. And copper foiling is just so fun. You could grind this glass on the edge. I'm not. You can grind it though. I think I have six or seven grinders back in the studio, but we're not gonna do that. So see this side now, Oh, no, it's even. I thought I had more on one side than the other, but I don't. Okay. Just give it a burnish. And sometimes I will lay them down to burnish them too, because then I can just do it like one swoop. One swoop, because you get a lot of, I can put a lot more force on. If this is down against here, than if I'm holding it in my hand. So I'm gonna put it in like so. And I think I might make this <laughs> come up. I was gonna put a green stem back in there. But this is on the green keystone. So I'm just gonna let it, I'm gonna let it like that. And my lights are dipping because we live in an old church and the wiring here is weird. And my kiln is on. I'm glass fusing as we speak. Kiln's all loaded up, filled with Valentine hearts. And hoping it's done soon. As long as it dips though, I know it's still still heating up, as long as it makes our lights blink. So I'm gonna just show you one more thing and then I'm gonna stop the video on this one. But I wanna show you how we solder. 
copper foil first. This glass is, is relatively clean. I'm gonna, that right here is my important setup piece. That's my important setup piece. These ones I might play around with. That doesn't look right. That might look right. important pieces. Because I, oh, hey now. Maybe that. Yep. You want to play around with your glass a little bit first. That, that. Put him in like that. Kind of almost need, I need one more piece over there. I think I'm going to use this piece. I was going to use it somewhere else. I think we're going to use it there. And you can also draw out a pattern, use from a pattern. I love working with it when I have the actual glass there. I spend a lot of time on a pattern and then I don't follow it. <laughs> I've been doing this for over 20 years and I just, I know, I know me. And you might work different than I work. So we're not using a pattern on here. I have a pattern in my mind <laughs> of what I want to happen. Hello, honey. I've got these on the floor. Can you use them for them? No, just recycle them, babe. Martin had coffee stirrers he dropped on the floor. They're now getting recycled. I don't even know where they came from. Somebody brought them to us when we were having a party, I'm sure. I, I try really hard not to buy plastic stuff. This one is going to fit up here perfectly. That one's gonna go right against the top of the window and look so beautiful. Let's get the copper foil on these and then we'll play with where they go. I'll get you zoomed in just a little bit so you can see how they're laying it. Oh, no, let's zoom back out. You kinda gotta see the big, big picture sometimes. So, uh, you gotta watch the edges on these can be sharp as you're doing them. And this is a, it's definitely a trust the process craft. It's, you know, glass, um, you need a wooden board to work on. Um, and there's other things you can use besides wood, but I like, I like the wooden, I have these wooden boards and boy, oh boy, have they been used hard. They wear so well. They wear so well, they won't wear out. That's what you want. And you, I know people who use scissors uh, to cut this as well. I like to use my fingers. And this is the important part. So you get that little part back there so it's not dangling out there by itself where I tore it. And then just pressure, pressure. Rub it, <laughs> rub it hard. This is fun. Both sides, the whole way around on both sides. And I want this, I want these to um, really feel like a flower coming off there. And I'm not making specific flowers where they're, you know, uh, you might see a rose or you might see, you know, these are, it's a summer window, this one is. You're seeing, you're seeing hummingbirds, so there won't be any tulips, won't be any daffodils, but I definitely have grown yellow foxgloves before. 
These remind me a bit of a foxglove or a bit of a columbine, or not columbine, um, lupin. Is it lupin, lupine? I call them lupins. I love them. Pop that on. Overlap it. And I just push my fingernail down and pull back and that tears. This is so soft, this stuff. And then just pay attention here. That one little guy is sticking down a little bit. I like to keep them, you keep them nice and neat and tidy so you don't get a sharp line there. If I let a piece stick out, uh, when I put the solder on and the solder, I turn it black then with patina, it would stick out like a sore thumb. See that part there is, is kind of bugging me. I'll just squish it back a little bit, perfect. <laughs> If you pay attention to detail when you're putting the copper tape on, you're going to be so much happier. And I don't know if I want to maybe stick that one like that. That one like that. We'll see how they look. Kind of like this one hanging down like a little bell. Maybe down like that. Yeah. Maybe this one will be up. Right. <laughs> oh, maybe there. Maybe. Let's get our last one in. And then we'll see. And then we'll solder. We'll see and then we'll solder. And then we'll say bye-bye. <laughs> see you, solder. Farewell. So this is going to be... I reckon this window, all said and done, is going to be about a 30-hour window, start to finish. Actually, maybe even more. I've done, uh, done a fair whack on it already. I don't ever keep track when I'm making windows on time because these windows that I'm making are for us. But when I'm making a project, if you're making something to sell, please make sure you think about how much time you spend on it. Um, you know, your time is valuable. Don't undersell yourself. And if this is a hobby of yours, you know, it's a very, very expensive hobby, consider turning it into a business. Hobbies cost money, businesses make money. Well, they're supposed to make money. Your business should make money. I know a lot of people who do stained glass and they just give all their stuff away. And it makes me sad because I know like this stuff is expensive. I love how that looks right there. I'm not, I'm not gonna touch it. <laughs> I'm not touching that. I'm going to solder it, but before I solder it, I'm gonna put my gloves on. I like to wear gloves because this stuff is not good for your skin, but I'm about to do um, flux. <laughs> Gotta put flux in here. Flux makes the world go round. Your piece will not stick together without flux. This is um, just something I got at Hobby Lobby. You can get your flux anywhere. And it comes in a paste, it comes in gel. This is liquid. I like the liquid. So I'm gonna just kinda almost dribble my flux in here. Cause I don't wanna, I don't want these to move. So I have several little points here. And then I'm planning already um, this, I'm gonna fill in with solder. It will create shadow. So I'm gonna move, I'm gonna move my cutter out of the way, I'm gonna move my nippers out of the way because this stuff, our solder, it can go all over the place. 
So this stuff is 40% uh, lead, 60% tin. So I'm gonna take off a piece of it because that little spool weighs a pound. And if you do this, um, oh, I forgot to clean my tip. So my tip's still dirty from last time. I clean it, <laughs> clean my tip. You see how shiny it gets, oops. Get that out of our way too. It gets super shiny, hopefully you can see that. And then set that out of my way. Take my, take my little piece that I just pulled off that's nice and light. I have on my safety glasses because this stuff will bubble and pop and go all over the place. So I'm just gonna put stuff in here now. You see it didn't stick there because there wasn't flux there. We're gonna flux it. Now it'll go, now it does it. And you have to flux fresh. You can't flux at night and then come back and solder this in the morning, that will not work. So I like to take this and push it down on the top and just let that fall down. That little bead of solder will fall down. And um, this sort of just tacks it into place for us. So once it's tacked into place, once it's tacked into place, And I should say too, can you see the, <coughs> you see the stuff coming up from here? It is not good to breathe. So be in a very well ventilated area or have a fan going that sucks it down. They, spell, they sell special fans that will suck this stuff down. So once this is tucked in, which it is now, I'm gonna take and now I can paint it really good. I can really get that flux on there. I'm gonna go across the top of my keystone. I like to work on the piece um, as I'm going around. And you don't wanna let, you don't wanna let your iron sit on a piece too long. It'll do a couple things. Worstly, it will break your glass. It will break your glass. Maybe not the first time you do it, but it will. But it also, um, it also weakens the adhesive on here. So now on this piece, I'm gonna take, I'm just gonna cut this whole little piece down about an inch. And it went up on the glass. It was supposed to fall down in this hole. Because I want this to be a flat edge coming here. I want it to be all solder because it's going to create a shadow for us. And I learned how to do this in Scotland. So I say solder. Uh, if you're in America, you're going to say solder. And that's a bad word in Scotland, which I learned the hard way when I was at the college learning this. So here I'm gonna nip this off, nip another one off. So I have all that stuff already in place. You see a bubble, 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 boil and trouble. This is gonna look so cool. It's gonna add a bit of weight to the window, but this is not a big window. And this window isn't gonna be one of my um, shutter windows, so it does not matter. This is, I just want this right here to all be molten. Just touch it, and it's so cool. I love this stuff. Putting down big hunks. But the heat, now the heat, glass, glass cools down really quick. And that's the problem because you can thermal shock this stuff and crack it. Oh, 
Oh, that's beautiful right there. I'm gonna leave that just like that. I'm gonna come down here because there's a lot of heat already up on that piece. You don't want your piece to be too hot. You do not want to break your glass while you're doing this. You can get the glass back out, but it is a pain in the butt. Pain in the butt, you don't want that. And here now, this piece is not sticking great over here, which means my flux has dried. So I need to come back in there and flux it again. You know, that big long piece that I had, that's what we're working with now. I'm gonna take my flux, go up here first. Here, here, and down in there. You also wanna be careful putting the flux on when it's hot, uh, when you've just been working on a piece because that flux is cold. So you can get thermal shock that way too and break your glass. We want to avoid breaking glass. See how it just disappears? Isn't it cool? And gets smooth and beautiful. And this is a tip I'm gonna give you. If you don't listen to anything else, listen to this. When you're done with a piece, don't go back in there and rub it. <laughs> Don't go back in there and think, oh, I'm gonna make that piece perfect. Uh, you're not, you're gonna, you're gonna destroy it. <laughs> Stay away with it. One and done, get it done. So when my piece of, is little here, I'll just set it down and dab a piece. I'll dab, grab, get over here, you. Oh, he doesn't wanna come. Now he will. No, still not. Okay, when he's not coming, my tip needs cleaned. Go back, clean that tip. It's nice and shiny again. See, shiny, shiny. Now, why are you still not grabbing? What's wrong with you? Let's put some flux on. Let's get some flux on the scene. There we go. Better. And I might put a piece, there will be a piece of glass coming up into here. So I'm not gonna fuss really much about, about that. But I wanted to have my nice dark shadows between these beautiful, beautiful yellow flowers. Gorgeous. That part's done. Now oh, let's flux these. We got our purple, and I'm gonna take, look at, watch this. I'm gonna move that over just a little bit. See how this line, when I have it tucked in here, it steps in. I'll put it over here, and I'll get like the nature's curve. I got more of a nature's curve on there, and I love that. So flux, flux it. And then down in here, right in this part, I'm just going with solder. Just gonna be this. It's silver right now, but I am gonna turn it black with patina. Take a piece off, touch that. Don't ever just let your don't ever let this just sit down on your glass. It will break. This piece here needs done. And then this whole piece in here, I'm filling. I'm filling that with, with my solder. And 
And I know there are people who are gonna comment and say, these gaps are too big. I want shadow. <laughs> I know they're big. I normally put glass to glass, but I, my, my bird, um, my hummingbird will appear more 3D if it has shadow to it. So it's getting shadow. Put these together. Nice, nice smooth lines. Looking for nice smooth lines. I'm gonna take this piece out to about here for this shadow under his wing. Or under her wing, could be a girl hummingbird. And you can do decorative soldering too. This piece is gonna be pretty high up in the air. You wouldn't really see it, <laughs> so we're not gonna do it. But here, I'm gonna clean up his wing while I'm here a while because I did not do a great job on it. So I'm gonna clean this up. Make this look beautiful. Oh, and it's popping, because this is old solder that I'm coming on to. So you want to be mindful of the pop. Beware of the pop. Always wear your glasses. Glasses and gloves. Because when it pops, it's coming out to you at a couple hundred degrees. You want to keep it. I'm gonna keep it in there. Okay, I'm happy with that. That part can stay flat. That has a little, that had a little round hoop-de-doop there. But I'm thinking here, here on this heart, let's do this and see how this looks. I'm gonna take this solder this heart. I'm going to just do this. I've been worrying about what color to put in here. I think I just need a dark spot. So I think I'm just going to go with this. And I'll hold it up to look and make sure I like it. But I think I'm going to like it. I think I'm gonna let that little part open right there. I love this, this shape, this curve, this natural curve here. I think our hummingbird's gonna really pop with that. I think we're gonna leave it like that. Yes, definitely. Oh, before you stop, clean, 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 and put a little new dab on, let that on there, and then set it in here. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna be gone for a minute, I will turn that off so it doesn't um, so it doesn't get weird on me. Now let's lift this up and see what we're looking at. Because stained glass looks best. I love the hummingbird like that. I think the hummingbird works really, really well like that. Yep, I like the burst above of the sun. Our little hummingbird, we can, we can plainly see. And I think his, I think the beak and everything is pronounced more with this part open. I think we're gonna let that part open. I like it. I don't like it, I love it. 
love it. Let's straighten them up, set them down. And now I'm gonna take my gloves off and go back to copper foiling. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna keep showing you parts of this um, window as a work in progress. And eventually you will see it up over there at the very end of the Christmas market that won't be there anymore. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I hope you subscribe. I hope you learned something. Oh, and always wear safety glasses and gloves.